what's up guys welcome back so today we have an interesting video I'm kind of exposing myself but i have a stack of papers here and we're gonna talk about how much we spent on the whole lsa that's just the lsa we're gonna take the cam also because i made a separate video on that but we'll just add the cam into it as well we'll do both separate and then we'll add it together and see what we spent all together to get that you know almost 700 horsepower also i want to say i'm not making this video to like flex on prices or say I can buy all these parts it has nothing to do with that this whole build has nothing to do with that I just want to clear that up first because I'm doing this to help you guys out to give you guys an idea of what it costs because I had no clue what it cost until I kind of got myself into all this and it actually took me a little bit longer to do I bought the LSA probably around December and I was like well I want the fuel, the fuel pump all that good stuff so it took me a little bit longer and that's kind of why I kept putting it off because I made the video when we got the LSA probably in like February so it took us Three, about three months to finally get everything together and I didn't want to cheap out on anything and I tried getting the best parts as I get in the four kit, the ID, thousand fifty injectors and just overall some good stuff. Alright so here's a stack of receipts. This is just for the LSA on this one or the LSA and the fuel system. So what we just did to the car. I legit started adding this up, got like five, six in, and I was like, you know what, I want my legit reaction. So I got my calculator here and we're just gonna add this sucker up. Because I got no clue. Um, I'm going to take a guess. I'm going to say do seven, seven We'll say 7200. Watch me like get it. I, swear to, I promise you I did not look at this. So, um, probably say 7200. Actually, no, it's going to be more than that. It's probably going to be like 8000. So, we're going to say about 8000. Um, so, I'm going to do that. Also got this stack of receipts here, which is all from like the hardware store and advanced auto parts, like hoses, random stuff I needed, like liquids, and just all types of that good stuff. So yeah, let's, uh, let's get into it. So first up on the list, we have the, the Grip Tech pulley. I got the 2.5 upper. Uh, highly suggest you gotta get it with the hub because then you can switch it back out if you go lower or whatever. Pretty easy. Or if you already have the hub, I guess you don't need it. But um that was a good old 200 and i'll include shipping on all this i'll just include the final price 227 because that's what i paid and then um i highly suggest if you have to buy any parts if you're say they're the same price and it's ga only versus another part store go with ga only because you know he's doing a good job supporting us and helping us out and then if actually if you even have like camaro and stuff there's a lot of the same parts you can get for that that order type style all right so next we have our what is this Oh, my, uh, the belt, uh, the green belt I got, it's by Gates, got that on Amazon, if you need that number, it's right there, um, we'll round up to 20, we'll do 28, so 28, this was my, oh, I had to get a new coolant hose, I actually didn't even show you guys that, but, um, like a couple weeks ago, the hose got like really, really like thin or whatever, so I went ahead and got a new hose, I noticed like it wasn't gonna fit completely right when I got it and it just got way worse so I didn't want to take any chances. So I went ahead and got a new hose that fit up there perfect. Um, so that was 10 bucks. Ooh, this is the tough one here, boys. This is that catch can. That catch can, I don't suggest it. I highly suggest you don't get it. I kind of see why people don't get it. I've been getting explained to a lot. But um, that was 27. I bought that with it when I got a can. Oh, screw it, 34. No. What was that? Oh my lord. What did I do? Can I clear it? Clear. Yeah, we saved it, boys. Woo! I was scared. Alrighty. Oh, so back to this catch can. Definitely suggest getting a new catch can, especially the one off Motion Raceworks. They came out with a new one. It's with the Cletus one. It's pretty nice. It's kind of cheap. It's like 189 So I'm probably going to get that one. I keep saying that, but I. I haven't actually bought anything for the car in probably about a month and a half. I'm kind of like chilling right now. I, I want to get them tires, but um, an ice tank. So I got some plans at the end of the video. I'm probably going to explain to you guys. Um, them E85 drugs, I got three of them. And then I actually bought a fourth one that was like 30 bucks. So 105 plus 30, we'll say 135 for the 85 jugs. Uh, the pin the crank pulley, or the pin the crank kit, you got to get the little screwdriver thing the, it comes with a, a drill bit um a pin and all that so that way you can pin the crank because if you don't pin the crank your your balancer like this one but the lsa one um will come off at some point if possibly and then it can damage the crank and you just you don't want that 
So here we have, this is my 85 sensor, flex fuel sensor. This a little controversial. So I went ahead and ordered it straight from GM at the parts store. The factory one is, probably comes off like the five threes, the pickup trucks, the flex fuel, whichever ones have the flex fuel sensor. I got that. And then on Amazon, I found the pigtail for eight bucks. That's, uh, we'll say that's 53 plus eight. So with that flex fuel sensor, you can go and get one from like DSX, so you only sell them. I think Motion Raceworks sells one now. So there's a lot of different kits out there you can get. Um, but that we had to pin that. That's why I had to buy that picture because I pin it myself. You, no matter what, I think you got to wire each one up. And I wired mine up wrong, which Sam had to, my tuner had to put that in the pin it the correct way. Because you know me, I, I hate wiring. So I didn't have Joe. Joe was not here for that. Joe was here. Probably would have got wired correctly, but. Um, yeah, so now I um, definitely want to get a valve cover gasket, so valve cover gasket, valve cover breather, um, that was 39 bucks. And then you definitely highly suggest getting an AFR gauge, that was 183 And then I'm actually not going to count these, in, well, you should, you don't need these for your, your LSA or nothing, but um. I kind of got a little too happy. I went ahead and bought them. I didn't even hook them up yet. Still haven't hooked them up because I need to get a gauge or a pod or figure out which pod I'm going to use. So it's kind of where I'm at with it. You know what? Let's just do it because no. Uh, should I do it? I don't know if I should include these or not because it's not like I. Yeah, because say I did the cam and all that. No matter what. I mean, it's not like it's that bad to have. So no, I didn't mean to hit equal. Gosh dang it. All right. So we're at 836 already. We'll just we'll do that. So plus. This is the oh this is the water pump. So the water pump right here is um the, mine was not an LSA water pump or the CTSV whichever ones at a certain year I'm not too sure but they stopped making them for the G8s or they didn't put them on until later on and mine didn't have the correct correct brackets for the LSA so I had to get a new one um or it didn't even come with the kit I think it should come with the kit but um I mean you can't base each kit off of each car to the T so. I understand, um, but it was 110 bucks. I got like the cheapest one you could get. They said it worked pretty dang good. So it's the gates. Um, there, if you need the, does it come with the? That's yeah, the number and all that right there. So if you're doing it, if you have a G8, maybe even a certain Camaro, you might need to do that water pump. So then I add the 110. Ooh, so this gets. We're getting into a nail boy. So this is my four kit right here so this is everything that came with the fuel pump this is braided lines the controller all that good stuff uh the fuel filter uh, fuel regulator everything you need it comes with except that flex fuel sensor this is probably like the best top brand out there at least for fuel um you don't have to get this kit for your lsa but i just it can hold up to at least 850 it's only the dual so and then i could just switch to a triple and it would just hook right up pretty much so then you can hold a thousand so that's kind of why i wanted it so i could be in that range if the day comes where i can you know get that much power which who knows you know we could um do that so that was a good old it was really like 1750 but the taxes and shipping and everything came out to 1874. oh my god he on x games mode and so uh, kind of hurts hurts my soul a little bit um, it took me actually a while I I just I, I took me like weeks to actually like figure out it took me a couple months to figure out which pump which system I wanted and then when it was time to go I just I kept holding it all I'm like do I really want to spend that much but that's what I did I called her the day Whew. this one here boys here she is so this is the boost district kit it is with the ZL1 upgrade, I got the heat exchanger and everything. But if you notice, I got the used one for 4,750 bucks. Shipping was 159, came out to 4909. So I ordered it back in like November, December. And then the guy hit me up and he was like, look man, he was, cause it was actually took, I think it ended up being like January. And I was like, yo, like, you know, it says six, six, eight, six to eight weeks. I'm like, hey man, like, you know, any, any latest on it? Actually, what's funny is, my dumb self. I just went online and tried buying it. Tried buying it several times and my debit card would not let me do it. So I had to call my bank and they had to transfer money and all that. I, didn't, I should have probably called Boost District like, yo, like, I'm buying your kit. So 
Um, it took me forever to, you know, get get the process going with that. But he was like, never talked to him until he was like, yeah, um, you need a lid. Or you need a, um, we don't have any used ones. And if you want to get uh, a brand new one, you know, they're 500 bucks, we'll give you, or 550, we'll give you 100 bucks off. So he was like, well, we don't know when we're going to get some in. So I was like, you know what, I'll just buy a brand new. And, well, actually, I'm not going to say it like that, but it took a couple weeks and I was like, you know what, I'll just buy a brand new. I, I actually slightly thought about canceling it and just holding off a little bit longer, but I was like, you know what, let's just go with it. Because that 2650 What's that about like seven thousand, six thousand, a lot more money, but you can get at least a thousand horsepower. But I don't. We have some other issues. Again, I'm gonna talk about that at the end of this. But let's add that. Let's add this in. So we got plus four nine oh nine four nine oh nine plus the four fifty. Y'all ready for this? I'm literally, I have no clue what this is about to cost. Um, I don't know if I can do it. <laughs> Unless you already did it before me, but let's just hit it equal. 8,179. I've actually, wow. <laughs> That's a lot of money, but um, dang, man. Yo, this actually didn't include the price for my injectors, so it's gonna be about a little over 9,000 bucks for injectors. And I wasn't too impressed with my uh, reaction video, but I just want to say that I'm actually pretty hype or excited that it was about 9,000 bucks because if it was like 10 or 12, would have been a little disappointed um, just with the LSA and the, um, the fuel kit. But overall, like, I think that's a great price for what I got done to the car and what we did and the power we made up on it. You can probably fight it, get a little cheaper with some different parts and all that, but I mean, I, I would do this all over again. Definitely, I mean, 9,000 bucks is a lot of money. You can do so much for 9,000 bucks, but this is my dream. This is like my goal. I've always wanted to do this and I had the opportunity and you know, I worked hard enough to get there. Let's get back into it. I'll explain a little bit more. Yeah, I feel like an idiot. So I forgot to include my injectors, my 1,050 injectors. That was 840 bucks. I bought that from a dealer. You can buy them from a dealer. Um, I always suggest finding a dealer for like you're buying them online somewhere. Some people like match the prices and stuff like that. But um, like my tuner, I think he's a four dealer or uh, he's a four dealer, but ID thousand fifty dealer as or ID injector dealer. So um, let's go ahead and add that eight forty eight nine thousand twenty seven. So basically, you're gonna want to add about another thousand. So it's. 9,000 bucks for that. Also didn't include, which is not in one of my stack of receipts here, is the cooling hoses, but you're gonna wanna get braided line. There's a site on Amazon that has it for like 80 bucks. So you wanna include your braided line for your, your coolant and all that. So that's another 80. It's about 9,100. And then, um, I'm trying to think what outside. I think that's like it for like all the main stuff. So I haven't added these up. Let me add these up real quick. But like all this stuff is like fasteners, um, some bolts, screws and stuff like that. So I'm gonna get a total, what was that? Vacuum replacement? I don't even know what that is. That might not even be part of it. So this all added up to about 112 bucks right here in the receipts. Um, that's not too bad. I actually thought that'd be a little bit more. So what were we at? Um, plus one one two it's about nine thousand two hundred nineteen bucks so it's pretty much my total and parts and fluids and everything for the lsa was about nine thousand um, bucks on fuel it's actually a lot of money but you gotta think about it this is this is what's always in my head so a hellcat with a supercharger even a ctsv at least 35,000 for the CTSV. Hellcat's 50, 60, I've seen 70. That's insane. Like, I don't understand why you pay that much money and still have this. The car's not even worth more than like 14,000. So, most GEs are going for around 15 or under, unless it's like fully built up or something like that. <clears throat> so, that's where I think about it that way. Like, you can, you're saving so much money regardless. So, if my car was <clears throat> 14,000 and then I spent 9,000 on that, that's about. Twenty-three thousand dollars, and then the cam. So the cam on my other video, I was looking it up. I got it right here. Let me get this out. So back in 2020, this was the shop I bought it from. 
I got it all for 1,565 bucks. So we spent 9,219 plus 1,565 for the cam. I might let's do that equals 10,784 bucks. So if you're looking to do a cam build and LSA all at the same time, you're looking at about $10,000. If you have 10,000 bucks to blow it all at one time. All right, definitely do not. It's taking me at least, that's another thing. It's taking me at least two and a half years to do from headers to where I'm at now. So just letting you know that we ain't balling like that. Then you got the stall. I got the zero one stall. Cut me a deal and everything. Got it down to 444. So we'll take that plus four, four, four equals 11,228. So you wanna do a stall? You're adding 11,228. And then, so now I've had two tunes. This was 600 bucks to get the cam tuned, which I thought was a little, a little, a little expensive. So we'll add that tune in. So that was 600. So now you're at 11. So let's just do one tune. Let's just say 600 for the one tune. One, do a cam, LSA swap, torque converter, and a tune. Looking at about 11,828 bucks with no labor involved. That's just parts and everything. And a tune. It's pretty crazy. That's, that's actually a lot of money. Again, the car, it's like a project, right? It's a cheap car. And you're getting a lot of power out of this car for everything you're getting. I mean, it's well worth it. I definitely don't regret it because I mean, we built it myself. I learned so much. I got to create this channel. I got to create like all this stuff, meet people I never even like heard of or met before. And just people I've talked to people, like I never met on Instagram. And that's what's crazy is all this love and everything and support. It's outrageous. It's, it's insane. I love it. got back from the dyno. I kind of messed up. And um, when we got back from the dyno, this 256 is all just added together in receipts because we broke that rock around bolt off, which I think. It's up here. I saved all in boxes. I know that just looks cool up here. Like I, I think I showed it in my last video, but yeah, we uh, we snapped the rocker on bolt off in the head, and then we had to drill it out. So that definitely sucked. But um, yeah, we fixed that in total because I had it like I did one on each head, one head each head on broken bolt because I put the training kit in backwards. But that was two hundred and fifty six dollars in parts that i had to spend on all that to get my car back up and running i got super i would spend that any day what i had to go through that was insane um, yeah here's all my old car parts all my old parts got i saved them all kept them all um thought this is <clears throat> pretty cool but I mean, I just see, yeah, here's the trains that's what i was talking about so i put mine square down facing down you want to put the round inside the uh that little rocker arm tray so that way it can swivel back and forth i put mine square down so i had nowhere to go but torque conveyors there, the old manifolds are there. Yeah, we got all that. Also, you want to include? I didn't think you want to include your uh, your headers. I got my headers. My whole exhaust system for like 600 bucks. OBX is also a pretty cheap system. Got it for like 600 bucks. But the Cox Texas Speed is going to run you at least 1500, probably more than likely, if not more. I mentioned it. I mentioned it in my other video, but I made. We're getting a quarter intake made, and here's the filter for it right here. Um, getting a five inch, the one I have on there, the verter fat's a four inch. So, you're looking, and then the Glanzer and a couple other companies make one, they're four or five hundred bucks. Um, hopefully, ours can be around a little cheaper than that. Um, my buddy's making me one, so we're gonna see how good that turns out. If it turns out good, man, we're gonna try to sell them, but even not, I mean, it's homemade, it's custom, so it should be pretty nice looking in there. Probably get a powder coated, same color as the car. And um, so probably looking about 300 on that. So if you want to add, you're, gonna, you're actually going to have to add an intake onto that. So you might as well add 300. Well, you might as well add 300 to that, that final price. So, because no matter what, I had to buy that anyway. That was, uh, that was that dumb. So my boy Joe. So um, it's 10,069 with the intake on it. So. Yeah, that's uh, about 10,000 bucks because you're definitely going to need that intake no matter what. Ew. Ew. What's up? So, uh, how much do you think I spent on the LSA and everything? What's your guess? I thought you said yesterday or Friday, 11 racks. No, I didn't add it up. No, I legit added it up. You spent about 8,200. No, my guess is. 72. 70. This is that's what the fuel the fuel is also included with it. 
Yeah, I'm gonna still go 82. 82? Alright. Um, it came out to like nine. Oh, wait, you want to include the tune too? Uh, okay, yeah, okay. I didn't think about that. Well, without yeah. well, well, without the tune and without that quarter intake I'm getting, it's like ninety two hundred bucks. Damn. <laughs> what were you guessing? Um, eleven. Well, I actually, I said eight, and then well, on camera I said eight, but I did tell you eleven, which I was thinking eleven. And when you add the cam and everything in it, it ended up being like 12, 7, 12, 8. Oh, okay. Yep. So, what's up, Case? I heard you saw me at the zoo yesterday. So, here's my final, my final thing I want to leave you guys with. So, if you had this car and you had the price, looking at 25000 bucks ish So... Maybe a little bit more, maybe around twenty-seven. It all depends what you pay for your G8. Most G8s are probably fifteen thousand bucks. Low mile, it's about eighty, ninety thousand miles on it. So you're looking at about fifteen thousand. Add all this into it, just put it at about twenty-seven thousand bucks. So just think about that. You can get a cheap build out there. You can buy a build a Camaro. You can buy a vet. And this all has power. I'm telling you, it's pretty good power. You can uh, save a lot of money if you're doing that. But if you want, if you have money for Hellcat, I definitely respect it. I mean, nice car. If I was rich, I'd probably buy one too. But uh, I definitely wouldn't like talk crap and say it's the fastest car. It's the only thing I hate about them. Hate that part about the Mopars, but I respect it. Tall guy car reviews, like I said, first YouTuber I really ever started watching and always wanted a Hellcat. But this is what you can get for a budget build, definitely. Um, if you're in like, this type of situation, highly suggest getting this car. Or even a CTSV, you can bump up 35,000, even has one um, already on top of it. it already has an like with it, so you can cam it, do some stuff to it, do whatever you gotta do. Last thing I want to say real quick, if you want it this if you want this bad enough, like you will find a way. That's like the thing I've always went by. It's been on my Instagram buyer for like years now. I just I believe like if you really want something in life, like if you want it bad enough, you will find a way to do it. You will sacrifice whatever it is, you you will get it done. And just stay motivated. That's the best thing I can tell you. But anyway, hit that like subscribe button, follow me on Instagram at one bad eight, DM me, comment down below, anything you need. But uh yeah, I'll catch you on the next one. Peace. Put me on uh, <laughs> just like I feel like I won.